Welcome to our channel. Uh, we are I'm Beth. I'm Naomi. I'm Eve. <laughs> We're out of order. <laughs> <laughs> We're coming to you from sunny Chandler, Arizona, in the shadow of my my create room box, <laughs> uh, my dream box, which I love so much. And um, I just thought we'd change it up. And so uh, you can see all my fiber and all my yarn. And over here's my sewing stuff. And over here's more yarn stuff and spinning stuff. So that's where I keep all my all my junk. But I still have junk everywhere else, so don't, don't be fooled. <laughs> but <coughs> but uh, we're Three Sisters Creative. And um, this is a channel about all things that we do crafty-wise with sticks and strings. <coughs> Excuse me. And um, so we're just going to talk about what we're doing. Um, I'm going to be uh, working on... Um, my, uh, I just learned about Finish It February, which I guess uh, knitters do. And um, so I pulled out all my, uh, my in progress things. The first is I have a really bad case of a single sock syndrome. So here, here, here is a sock I made for uh, my husband's uncle. And um, it's a uh, made with it's a pattern by uh, very pink knits by Stacy Perry it's made uh, using flexi flips and I did start the second sock here it is <laughs> the toe so these are flexi flips as, as opposed to using DPNs what's nice because you only use three and they they flex this way so I just have to knit like that and then make a heel and then knit like that. So that's what I'm going to be working on. One of the things I'm going to be working on in February. So I can make a second sock. And then the, <laughs> the ever famous sweater for my poor son. My long suffering son. So this is what I'm going to do tonight. And um, it's just inches. I just have to add inches to it. And he's going back to... Tucson to go to his school and I better get it done so that's me and then I have if I happen to get everything done <clears throat> I started making a sweater last year for my daughter she wanted uh, not a sweater it's like a tank top for granny squares and she said she wanted it to look like what did she say the desert or the southwest so these are the colors that we picked. We have this green and a rust and this yellow and this sort of bricky red and then um, and then a buff color. And so I think it'll look really nice. And then I, I was almost done with all the squares to start putting it together and I realized I didn't check her size against the it's a real simple little pattern I changed it up a little bit and then I realized I'm gonna have to add I think now I can't even remember but several more squares of each color so I was like Arr! and then oh also I'm because it's an odd number of squares I'm making this little um, accent square isn't that cute so I'm gonna make a couple of those one to go like right here and then we thought one on the back back here so anyway so that's another project that that one day I will finish someday. So I'll not finish February, maybe I'll get it done. And um, I think I'm gonna join them with this. I have to look over my plants again with that sweater. So that's me, that's what I'm doing. So one of you guys go. <laughs> okay. I'll, po I'll go. So I'm work I finished the Scotty dog I was working on last week, but I forgot to bring it with me. Um, but so I'm working on, uh, this, you know, you can't see it. It's the top of a heart. It's a candy heart. She's um, going to put four, she said, here, here, and here, and here. Yeah, um, they're all pastel colors, and, um, I have the pattern here, but it doesn't have a picture, so. But it's a free pattern on, uh, fat square, fatquartershop.com, candy heart chart. And it's really cute. And then um, I'm going to be doing these. Oh, sorry. 
those are designs that I'm making. They're really little. The picture is actually bigger than they are. Um, I'm going to start stitching up oh, some of Oh, it's a those. turtle. Huh? It's a turtle. Yeah. The turtle is made up of all greens. It's a blue dog. Yeah, and a, a purple cat. I didn't change up the color on the on the duck, but I might. <laughs> Cute. Yeah. And those are going to be like the <coughs> little bitty smalls. Um, yeah, tiny. Um, I don't know, like this, I think. Okay. And then um, you gave me your disease. <coughs> I started Sorry. coffee. I had to turn the camera off for a second. Um, this. That's what we were talking about last time. Mm -hmm. Talked about it a little bit. So cute. Little snowman. <laughs> yeah. um, but we haven't decided if it's going to be a giveaway or not. Uh, probably. Okay. Um, but we'll decide between now and next week. I know it's not going to be snowing. Actually, here Some places could. it's snowing. Okay. <laughs> so somebody, somebody on Facebook, on one of my stitching groups, actually the girl that, that I roomed with when she, she used to live in uh, in California, I think, for, when we did Stitch Nanigans, and then shortly after that she moved uh, back east somewhere. But she's, she had posted it was 11 degrees. Yeah. Where she was? Where she was? Yeah, in, the, in, the, in New England somewhere. Oh. Yeah, okay. Hannah, my daughter who's in Boston, said it was like six yesterday <laughs> morning, this morning, yesterday. Yeah. yeah. Yep. So last week we were talking about how we didn't get a winter. Yeah, <laughs> we were all, it's so this hot. This past week we've had winter. It was cold this week. It rained. Every it's, day. Cold for, it's cold snowed, for Well, cold for us. Yeah. But I mean, you know, you, yeah. you, you, you're used cold. to wearing short sleeves and mm. all of a sudden. A drop you know, like that is a drop yeah, like that. Yeah, it was, you know? it was pretty chilly. It got into the 30s at night, yeah, yeah. and then, um, like, I heard that in Tucson, which I can't believe, it snowed. It actually yeah. snowed. It gets colder in Tucson than it does here, and, and it's, it has all those mountains. And it snowed, It well, it, they said it's not really snow, but in Scottsdale, Grapple. Fountain Hills, whatever. What did you say? Grapple. Grapple. That's what Pace, they called it. It snowed in Payson, which is not really far from Prescott there. and, and, uh, in Prescott and... And Pace and um, what was it, uh, Hol Holbrook? Yeah. The, all those places. Flagstaff got tons. Flagstaff, yeah. Yeah. But yeah, all the places up north got mm -hmm. tons of snow. Mm -hmm. And so, and we got cold and rain and got lots of rain. <laughs> but you were I just saying, it hasn't rained in forever. <laughs> so I guess this this time, let's predict, let's see. <laughs> I don't have any money. Maybe, <laughs> maybe that'll come true. <laughs> so, no. But uh, but it actually we lo I love it. Yeah. I, the colder the better. I have the window open right now. It's nice and cool. But I love the cold weather. I love it when it's rainy and gloomy. I because we never see it. You know well, you we don't know, see it very often. Last night we came over for uh, it was uh, Rachel's birthday. Rachel's birthday. So we came over and ate dinner and everything. And my dad it was cold and my dad was like oh I you know I was never this cold in Albuquerque. He was like. Dad, when Naomi and I went out there to help you pack up, to, oh. when y'all were getting ready to move out here, it was 17 degrees. It was so, we were sitting in the garage, and we were going through stuff. Yeah, you know, you, know, you, had, the, you had the choice freezing. of sitting in the garage. It was very windy, mm -hmm. and so you could sit in the garage out, of the, out of the wind, but it was freezing cold. And so in the garage, it was dark and cold and just freezing. And so you, if you set out side in the sun the sun was actually you know strong and warm but it was windy the wind oh and it and it really wasn't warm it was 17 degrees and there wasn't even any snow <laughs> it was just cold well, dry wind the, which is you know all the typical moisture out of your body he might feel that way because and... he might feel that way because he weighed m many more pounds well and in the yeah. house in the house it was always <laughs> 80 degrees in there but he outside, the heater, it was 17 degrees. My dad kept the heater so high. You had to pack t-shirts even though yep. the snow was... Uh... Every Christmas, we would pack <laughs> shorts because the the <laughs> house would be so hot. But, um, but yeah, but I realized, you know, he's lost so much weight yeah. Yeah. that I'm sure the cold gets him much more 
He's always cold. Yeah. Even when so, it's not cold. Yeah. <laughs> I made him a hat, and he wears it all the time. He wears it to bed. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I had a finish. I forgot. I finished the hat I was working on no. last week uh, oh, for yeah, my brother. Mm -hmm. But it's... Wait, it's over in the other part of the house. Because I finished it. Okay, I was like... Okay, Rachel's birthday was Friday. And I wanted to make her a washcloth to match the one I gave you last week. Mm -hmm. The owl. So I knew I needed at least, like, sometime on Thursday, you know, to, to knit it. And so I didn't really want to be knitting it on Friday. but So it, it'll take me, you know, a day. Or, you know, because I have other things to do. So I thought, well... I'll, I need really need to be done with Tim's hat. So so Wednesday night, okay, my son, I love him, but he will not go to bed. He's 20, what is he, 20? 20, 23. 23, she knows. He's 23. And, and the he, only reason I know is because I asked my son how old he was today. <laughs> okay. and, and he told me how old he was so that I know how you old know how Eli, Eli is. is. Okay, so Eli's 23. And he has the worst case of FOMO, you know, that anybody, that's fear of missing out, that you could possibly have. And so he will not go to bed if my husband and I are still up. Because he thinks, I don't know, we're going to take a 2 o'clock in the morning run to, you know, Filiberto's and get a burrito. I don't know what he thinks. <laughs> but we're like, dude, you should just, and it was Friday night. I mean, it was, uh, it was a weeknight and he had school, uh, online school at 9. And I'm like, dude, you should go to bed. So I wanted to stay up and finish the hat, but I knew that if I didn't make moves like pretending I was going to bed, he wouldn't go. So I was like, all right, yeah, let's go to bed. So I sat at my husband's desk. He has a desk in our bedroom with just a little light, and I, I knitted that, and I was watching a movie, and I, I worked on that hat. and I'm like, I'm just going to finish it. I think I went to bed at like four or something stupid. <laughs> So I'm like, I have to get this hat done tonight. So I did. But so that it's I go to bed at four all the time. I know. <laughs> it's so it's in a drawer. It's in a drawer in my room because I have to hide it from the wool hunter, also named Hobbs, my kitty. So he, he I have to hide everything. So anyway, that's why the hat's not here. Because I never transferred it over here to my box where it should my be. My poor brother is still waiting for his Christmas presents. Yeah. <laughs> but that's what happens. That's what happens. We we didn't have a good Christmas, so it's everyone's. Yeah, everyone it understands. Yeah. So shall I tell you about what I'm? Oh yeah. Yeah. Um, I'm still, still, working on tribal owl. But I yeah, am. Hold, yeah. Now now that we're closer to the camera, I can hold it closer. I. It's so pretty. I'm all, um almost done with the middle tummy section. What am I doing? Here we go. The which tummy is, section, the oval. Yeah, which is this. Hold that. My needle is right in there. Stabbed with a needle. I've, I've count, That's counted. That's beautiful. This, like, I love 40, that. Forty thousand times. I love that. It looks <laughs> like there's an I in the middle. The letter I. Do you see it? Oh yeah, yeah. Right here. Uh -huh. I. <laughs> but so I'm working on that, and then. Uh, that those shapes. Okay, I'm gonna interject. Those mm -hmm. shapes remind me of. Like um, a stucco, the stucco wall, mm. how the 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 stucco on the wall makes those shapes. And ever since I was a kid, I look at them and I find little like animals or faces. <laughs> yeah, well, yeah, that's what that reminds me of. <laughs> yeah, when we were kids, the that the texture we had the texture our wall. Yeah, you know. like these two in the bathroom. There's a in my bathroom. There's a face on the wall. <laughs> I always look at it. But I had so, to do a, a whole brochure for this for a stucco company, <laughs> and so I learned more about stucco than I ever wanted to know. <laughs> but so, um, so I'm working on this the middle section, and then, but I'm using um, it. Uh, it has a, a like just call for DMC, but I went ahead and did um, color variations on the. The two browns, the the middle and then the outside of the owl. That was my idea. Yes, that was Neil's idea. idea. Mm -hmm. I was like, you should do that. <laughs> and um, and then there's a like solid black for the beak and eyes, and then another color of brown for the branch that he's sitting on. So I still have a lot of stitching to do because, as you know, as simple as it, it's a small picture 
on the on the cover, the cover of the big. design, but it's a big owl. I mean, this is just his tummy, and that's not counting his head and you know his body and it's everything. It's gonna else. look so cool though. Um, and then Rachel made the mistake of telling us she liked owls, and now she's gonna be buried Apple. in them. <laughs> But then um, I had talked uh, last, I don't know, it was the last time we did the Three Sisters Creative video or um, or if it was during my update, I don't know, uh, when I talked about it. But I was talking about uh, Kelly Stodola, 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 whatever, um, that's so Kelly.com. So cute. This is uh, Sending Love. These are two freebies on her website, uh, that's so Kelly.com. So there's Sending Love, this little bunny sending little hearts, and Receiving Love. Oh my gosh, those are adorable. Yeah, so they're really cute. Uh, so there are they're freebies on her website, and she also does like Fitzy Bobs and things like that, all kinds of designs for. Uh, stitching things, you know, so um, those are on her website. And then, uh, so I'm I'm thinking about doing one or both of those, just depend, I, I haven't looked at the thread count, I mean, had the, you know, how, how big they are or whatever, but um, I just did my update today and was talking about, uh, you know, the I Love to Stitch thing is coming up, uh, in a in day after tomorrow, I guess is when it starts. The beginning of oh, is February. that a February thing? Yeah. Oh yeah, you guys are talking about that. And um, I and, ain't doing it. <laughs> and I was trying to think what I wanted to work on because you know I I have this tribal owl that I'm trying to finish, but I don't know how when how how much longer I have to go on there a lot. But um, so I was looking through. I have like at least 20 whips that things that I thought, oh, I'll get this done soon. And, you know, <laughs> no. Um, and uh, because I always like, you know, see, put everything aside because, it, because you know, come summertime, I start working on a bazillion Christmas projects. <laughs> but so, or, or projects to give as Christmas gifts or whatever. And I keep telling myself, next year I won't do that. Next year I won't do that. And I keep finding things. Oh, this will be perfect for Christmas. <laughs> but, um, so anyway, I have a bunch of things that, that I have started. So, so I did, did kind of a whip parade today talking about, um, uh, some of those projects that I'm going to, that I, I hope to, to, if not finish, to at least make some, significant progress on them because it's at least 30 minutes a day but I'll, I'll probably stitch more than that <clears throat> so some of them I know like I was uh, talking about uh, one of the little freebies that I got from the drawn thread gosh two years ago probably um, uh, four fat friends that's what it's called and it's four little little birds and a tree and so I did the the uh, trunk and branches. That's a mean name. <laughs> They're four fat birdies. <laughs> <laughs> but um, but anyway, the, the so I did the trunk and branches of the tree, but I didn't do the leaves of the tree and the, the birds. And part of it is it was all in in Week Star Works threads. And at the time, I didn't have any fancy floss at all. So I was using a DMC conversion, and um, and so the trunk and branches were like a combination of two DMC colors. Can I ask a question? Mm -hmm. Are are Weeks Dye Works or those kinds of uh, threads? Are they different to actually work with? Are they do no. they feel different, or it's just they're dyeing? Well, they're the, just the the um, what is the one I made with the turkey? Channel uh, Arts. Gentle Arch or Classic Color Works? Or? Um, it, it's very soft, mm. but working with it isn't any different. I'm yeah. just curious. They, they, some people talk about the, you know, that they feel different. To me, that, to me, I really can't tell the difference, but I don't really, haven't really paid attention. To I can that. tell the difference in the texture, but, but 
working with it with them. But so, what, the thing you have to be careful of is some of them are color fast and some of them are not. So, so um, in many cases that's not an issue, but sometimes it could be. Um, if you spill something or, uh, or if you, you know, feel the need to wash your whatever you're working on or whatever. Some people wash everything, some people don't wash anything, some, you know, but, um, but it's, uh, but so you have to be careful of you know what's color fast and what's not. Mm. Like I did, um, I did that uh, uh, thing for Hannah, the tomato dame, mm -hmm. and the fabric. Uh, it was like a like a kit kind of thing, and the um, the fabric that it came with was not color fast, you know. And so it, it says on there, you know, I'm not color fast. Don't wash me. Mm. And um, and I think one of the one of the projects that I was working on that I mean that I pulled out and looked at today is that um, kitty kitty, and it's on uh, on a I bought uh, this dark green uh, oh, what is it called primitive hair fabric and I think it's not color fast as I recall. Um, I should have brought my yarn. But, uh, um, so some of the threads are not color fast. Some of the threads are not color fast, Why? and some of the fabrics. It's just the dyeing process. Um, that, however they, whatever they wow. need to dye it's it like or whatever. like some shirts when you wash, even now, yeah. even today, you got to be careful. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So it's funny. Um, the fiber I was spinning that I showed last week, um, I was not sponsored by McDonald's. Oh. <laughs> We ought to be sponsored by McDonald's. Felt the need to um, drink, but I, you know, I've never had this happen before, and it's nothing. I mean, I I imagine it's never happened to any dyers. But I was spinning along, and all of a sudden there was a little. You know, there's all kinds of stuff in fiber sometimes, mm -hmm. like, and and it's got silk in it. So sometimes the silk ha makes like a little knot, or maybe it's a piece of. Uh, vegetable matter like hay or whatever but I felt a little bump and as it went through my fingers it crushed and it was a tiny piece of the dye powder I guess that, oh. that didn't it was tiny it was like uh -huh. not even the I size of a tell was, me it was a bug and it changed no, the <laughs> no it was a, it was a like a it was like the size of I don't know, breadcrumb. I mean, it was so small. Uh -huh. But as I spun it, it crushed in my hands, and I had blue streaks and stuff on my thumb. I mean, uh -huh. it, it, I, I, I can't, I, it's a huge fluke. I mean, this whole four ounces of fiber, it was the only one. It's the only one I've seen in all the fiber I've ever spun that's been colored. And I was like, wow. <laughs> There's little paws on There's the little door. kitty cat paws. My kitties want in. Mm -hmm. Um... <laughs> <laughs> like I was talking about last night, that I accidentally made my cat's ear bleed because uh, oh, she's a mean person. <laughs> I didn't my hear cat, that story. Oh, um, my cat Snug, he was lying on on me on top of you know come beside me or whatever, and he had a little little something on his. You know how cats have that little fold on their ear or whatever little thing on their ear, and so I was looking at it and he had a little black black something on his ear. And I thought it was a, a, you know, I thought, well, is that a bug? What is that? And because um, there's these little, little teeny, teeny black beetles that they come in, you know. Yeah, we through, get them too. Yeah. yeah. And so, so I, uh, I, you know, tried to like, you know, pull it off his ear or pinch it off his ear or whatever. And it, and it kind of crumbled in my hand. And so I thought, oh, okay, maybe that's a, you know, one of those bugs. And then his poor little ear was like, it was blood, you know, like, ah! It was you know, a scab? Yeah. I mean, from his and scratching or from, something? Yeah. And so, uh, fortunately, I had a napkin there, you know, but I'm like, 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 because I had blood over my hands, and I was like, ah! <laughs> you know, blotting his ear and squeezing Maybe. his ear and, you know, and turning the napkin around and blotting some more. I was like, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. You're a horrible person. <laughs> and he's like, oh. <laughs> but, um, yeah. It's so, like bad. my dog hates water in any shape or form except drinking water and um, so the last time it rained like it did this week she wouldn't go out unless I took an umbrella and held it over her <laughs> she would not go she made a 
she would not go outside to oh the point gosh. that she had an accident and she looked all embarrassed but she's like i don't want to go outside it's raining oh my gosh <laughs> and so last night um it was damp by the time it, she wanted to go to the bathroom but not raining anymore and she stuck her little nose at, just kind of outside the doggy door and she backed up and was like no i don't need to go <laughs> and, and, she, and then so this morning when I got up, she shot out of the bed. It went all the way over the doggy door. <laughs> She's like, I gotta go out. <laughs> you should she have was, gone before we left. <laughs> <laughs> she was so happy that it wasn't raining today. <laughs> yeah, it was clear and kind of cool, but but no rain. Yeah. Okay, so. Any knitters out there, I keep doing this weird thing where if I have this pattern calls for six knits and then one purl. So it's like a, it's like, I don't know if you can see, it's like an elongated rib. And for some reason, after I switch to the purl, and then I go back to the knit, and I've never, it's only been on this project, I guess because I'm doing it so many times, I wind up with a yarn over between the two stitches and I don't know what I'm I don't know what it is in my just natural movement that I'm doing that is is causing that it's driving me crazy I keep finding them I keep like just now I did it and I'm like nope back up I don't know somehow when I'm switching the yarn back or forward or something I'm catching it I don't know so there's a medication that I've been taking recently that says on the bottle okay may make your vision blurry <laughs> and it does <laughs> i guess that's what i'm doing i don't know yeah and uh so the project i'm working on i've basically made it twice so far because <laughs> i got may make you miscount <laughs> <laughs> well I, may you make know, you stitch badly and create <laughs> yarn overs where they don't <laughs> exist I think that I w just wasn't counting it right because it was hard to see. Mm -hmm. And I think you just weren't counting right because, you know, you aren't counting right. It's like that sign says, measure twice. I did well, yeah, over my... here, but I didn't over here. Oh, you here. can't see it. It's covered up with junk. I have a sign right there that says, measure twice, cuss once. <laughs> anyway, I was thinking maybe it's something like that. You're doing it too fast, and so you don't notice that you're doing the Yeah, other. what I'm doing is, I, I just was going in slow-mo. I'm, as I'm moving the, the yarn to the front for the purl stitch, so it's usually after the purl stitch. It's after the purl stitch. So I'm going back. I don't know what I'm doing. I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> It's a fluke because I don't do it all the time. But for some reason, this sweater, I don't know, it's driving me crazy. Uh, my projects that I've been working on recently, the Scotty dog, I made the head twice. Um, because well, we've all had an awful month, haven't we? Yeah. Distracted. Because I, I started it one row too far down. Even though I counted it over and over. You have COVID brain. <laughs> I actually... I actually had to pull threads through the, through the, I pulled the thread through the, the holes so I could count it like a grid, you know? Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's like, because I'm like, I don't want to do this again. <laughs> That's like casting on 200 stitches for a blanket or something. You're like, I got to put markers every 10. Because, <laughs> yeah. Because otherwise not work out but the the color that I'm using I almost decided to stop and find a different piece of fabric to work on because it with when you do the first row well, it's almost that light blue it's, it's almost, almost impossible to see yeah and I think that's why I ended up too far because I'm looking at it going okay yeah that's right and then by the time I go down I'm like wait a minute when I started putting the XOXO on, um, I was like, why is it more stitches on that side than on this side? I was just watching a blog of some knitters, and um, 
and the lady was saying she's making this sweater. Um, it just has a, it's solid, but then it has a pattern just like of a reindeer in the center. And it's, it's, it's by Arne and Carlos, it's beautiful. And it, it, the reindeer is very, it's like a line drawing. It's not like, you know, full on Christmas reindeer. It's just a line drawing. It's really beautiful. And <clears throat> she said that she wound up, I keep dropping my yarn. She said she wound up, um, making it three times, uh, at this one, having to rip back three times at the beginning of that design because she said I was going along and I guess she had assumed the, I don't remember exactly, but like the counts on either side, she had assumed were the same or I don't know. And she said, I got to a certain point and she goes, and I'm getting a bad feeling, getting a bad <laughs> feeling. And I'm like, I'm just going to see. And then she wound, she got to a point where she realized she was completely off. So she pulled it back and she thought, okay, I think I know what I did wrong. And she goes, and I was knitting it again and I'm getting that bad feeling. <laughs> That yeah. bad feeling where you're like, oh no, this isn't right. <laughs> well, I was gonna say that you know, I in in working on this on this owl pattern, um, right where I am, this little there's a little jog over here, and the problem is that that you know that the this this pattern is like I said, it's very large, and so the 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 pattern itself is broken up into like six pages without it, but it doesn't have any overlap. Oh, I was going to ask. Does it yeah, have there's the no overlap, oh. or, you know, shading that says all oh, these two rows are repeated on this. It, there's no, nothing like that. So like if I took and, and, you know, put these pages together, you know, I, could, to I could tape them together or whatever to, yeah. you know, and so, so I'm having to look at them, especially the ones, this this part of the pattern. Because then you have no reference on the next page. Yeah, and, and there and it's right in the, you know, part of the part of the little chunk, is, on the these lower two pages, and part of it is on the upper two pages, and so I'm like, okay, okay, okay. and and I thought I had it all, and there's there's one little little stitch away in here <laughs> by itself and I'm like what does that belong to oh, no. and it belongs to one that I did and and because the, the the thread is variegated it's dark over here and light over here where I was working and so I'm like well like either I have to rip out three rows or something to get back to that spot to put that other stitch in or what I ended up doing is I went and I got to the end of that of that thread because it ended it's a sort of you know a, a like kind of a yellow color and the dark part is like a almost brown color or is brown you know and so it goes from this dark brownish color all the way to a, a, a yellow and so I had gotten I went up got up to the yellow part and then the next thread I uh, I used the dark end of it the brown end of it and, and just did that one stitch and then turned the thread over <laughs> yeah. and you know and stitched on the with yep. the with the light color. So it's like I was going, wait, okay, this will work, this will work, <laughs> you know, because again I didn't want to start cussing in the middle of the night. So. <laughs> so, but so now the problem I have is like I'm going because it's like it's like even with the next row on this side and you know like one one square short on this side and then even here and overlapping you know, one further on this side so I'm like wait which row am I on so I'm having to recount and recount and recount oh. but uh, but I'm almost done with this middle section oh I forgot I do have to some finishes I have them right here I get them I will get them if my sweater doesn't fall Talk amongst yourselves. But, uh, yeah, so I was gonna say that you know, I'm I'm looking at my at my whips, you know, and I'm like, it, there's kind of some of them. One of them I have, um, <laughs> I thought, well, no one might know this. The was it was a baby sampler that I started when Eli was born. Oh no! I don't think I started it before he was born. But probably 
like just after when he was a few months old. So, and, and part of the problem was, one of the reasons that I didn't finish it was that I oriented the fabric wrong. It was, you know, landscape, right? It was supposed to be uh, portrait, and I did it landscape. I, oh. you, I turned it the wrong way. Yeah. And, um, but it's like, you know, an alphabet with like all the, you know, like B is for ball and D is for dinosaur or whatever. And, um, so you're going to make it for his kid one day? <laughs> By the time I finish it, you know, he'll probably be a grandfather already. <laughs> but, um, but I, I wanted to finish it, but you know, it, it, and I was thinking, yeah, it has like, you know, you're supposed to put the, the baby's size and weight or whatever. It's like, I don't know what it was, <laughs> you know, I I'd be lucky to get somewhere. his name on there. Yeah. What? I have the card somewhere. Yeah. But, uh, but so, you yeah. You don't remember? No. Oh, hell of a mother. I don't know. <laughs> I know. No, what I'm sitting here trying to fix this because I guess a cat plucked it out. So this is one thing I made. It's a locker hooking rug where you get like rug canvas, like for a, what do you call it, latch hook. But you run, um, you, you have a locker hook. There's one right there. It's gold, it's uh, orange kind of. Uh -huh. This? No, in the in the shelf right there, on mm -hmm. the left, right there. It's orange. Yeah, yeah. It's like a a crochet hook, but it has a an eye at the end. So you put a cotton twine on there, and then you pull this the whatever yarn you want on the top. You pull it up in loops on the hook, and then you pull the hook through. And the the twine will lock the hook the the loop of the yarn on top. Or you can make it. I made one for my mom with um, strips of cotton. Um, and so I I had this giant. I got it at Walmart. It was this fuzzy yarn. It's a big huge cake of it, and it uh, said, "I want to make a blankie." That's what it was <laughs> called. And I bought it for my daughter, and she didn't want to make a blankie. <laughs> so I was like, wow. So then I thought um, uh, I was going to make this for her apartment. And then I didn't get it done before she left in September. And I was like, don't on it. And then I decided to, because I wanted to learn to weave. Because I have plans in my head that when my son moves out, I'm going to put a loom in his room. <laughs> but my husband doesn't agree with me. <laughs> <laughs> so I have to convince him. But anyway, so I wanted to learn to make a rug. So I decided to make her a woven rug uh, um, because, you know, spending the money on my kid is more acceptable than just taking expensive classes for myself. So anyway, I made her a woven rug and uh, with uh, some, some wool, and I learned how to use the loom. It was really fun. So then I had this partially finished rug, and I thought, I asked my son, I said, do you like this? He's like, I love it. So I finished it for him. And he, that he's going to take this Tucson for his apartment. And I still had in that giant cake of yarn, I still had a bunch of yarn left. So I started crocheting. And I'm so proud of myself. I made this pillow. And I just crocheted it until I had like a small amount left that I thought I would need to to edge it and then I bought this uh, foam from Walmart it was like a big square they, but it had four pieces in there that each were an inch thick so you could make it you know four inches thick three inches two inches one inch so this is two of those and I had to cut them to size because I I didn't want to make any bigger fabric because I didn't want to run out and then I I edged it all the way around with single crochets and I even edged over the fold so you can't tell which was the seam end and which was the folded end. So that will go on his couch to match his rug. So. So we have for this. Oh yeah, that's nice. Isn't that nice? nice? And um, and I I measured the foam and and cut it to size. Um, it's a little. It's Dad still needs little one of those there. for his chair. For his chair. I ha look, I have two more of those foam things. Mm. And I've got. For the dining chair. So many. I have 
Okay, I bought my poor son. He, I don't know why he still loves me. Is I was gonna make him a blanket a thousand years ago, <laughs> and it, I got so bored with it I couldn't handle it. So I pulled it out, wound it up, and I still have like five huge, big, fat skeins of this kind of fuzzy yarn. So I can make one for my dad. I can make one of these. I have some. And he says that the green and black, the back yeah. of the chair and the bottom of the chair really hurts him. Yeah, because he doesn't have any meat on okay, his no, bones. Because he at needs all. to eat a sandwich or something. He did eat a sandwich. <laughs> <laughs> um, I was going to say I have, actually I have today twice he was hungry. No, oh, that's green good. yarn and black yarn that because I, I bought it once upon a time thinking I would use it like like you use chenille for finishing, mm -hmm. um, but. It's not like I'm finishing a whole lot of stuff. Yeah. So I still have, I don't think I've used either one at all. <laughs> so there's... What's nice about this yarn is that it's so thick, it goes super fast. Mm -hmm. And because um, I knit, I crocheted this in. Well, it's weird. What I, yeah. What I like about it is how the, the single crochets, it's just single crochet, but it looks like little. Complicated. Like, and... yeah, like a complicated pattern and little half, like, like squares, like. Mm -hmm. The squares are cut in half. This this is a very fast repeat, and um, so that's him all outfitted for school. Grandma would be so okay. happy that you knit and crocheted. Yeah. yeah. So yeah. my grandmother was constantly knitting, even when she lost crocheting. 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 Even when she lost her sight, she just kept. But I feel. She would do by feel. Yeah. Where's I that knit little booty. I can knit in my sleep. It's down there in the bottom shelf. You see it? Which very show? bottom. It's in the very bottom. Show. Very bottom box. Pardon my backside here. <laughs> I'll move into the frame. <laughs> <laughs> I'll protect you. <laughs> Even though I think you take pictures of my backside on I purpose. <laughs> every every Christmas. So I I'm we found this in my over. mom's things. It's hard to see because it's flattened out. But it's a baby booty with ribbon around the side. Isn't that gorgeous? And a little flower. She used to make us all slippery and all the time. And here's the bottom of it. So we're going to try to recreate this. I have, if I have, <gasps> oops, mm -mm -mm. I have three tons of thread crochet down here also. Mm -hmm. I was just thinking, I need to get rid of that because am I going to use it? to get matching ribbon. But, um, it. I don't have pink. <laughs> But, I mean, if, um, I made, if I made those, I can maybe make that. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's just a matter. So anyway, it's got this beautiful rose detail on top. And I just love these ribbons. I only found one when we were cleaning Mom's house. Um, but uh, I just love it. It's so beautiful. And we have tons of her doilies. And um, she yeah. just, she made all these things. I have, I have so a, beautiful. a little basket that she made and she was sugar. starched it with sugar. Yeah, on. yeah. I had some. Of, I had one, my cat chewed it. Cat mm. Luna chewed on it. Well, and for my wedding, she crocheted a, a blanket for us. And um, so she was constantly. It's got little roses. It's I know, so beautiful. It's beautiful and delicate. I don't know whose it was or what it was for. It's so pretty. I guess I should like measure this before I just go crazy and just, but I don't think it's long enough yet. I, and the pattern's on that iPad, so I can't look at it to see. Oh yeah, it needs more. It needs more. Not much more. So I was talking to my sister about different pro products that I've used and uh, because she was wondering how to do a project that she wants to do. And I, Which sister? Both of you now. Stiffy, the, the oh the yeah oh the yarn bolt the mm -hmm. yeah and well this is almost long enough I should make him try it on look at that look at that I had the privilege of learning tons of different um, art techniques projects and, and yeah. techniques because um, my job for I don't know seven years or something like that was art teacher to adults with developmental disabilities and I loved it I loved every minute how many years were you there I think seven but it might have been eight and uh, 
it was, I mean, candle making and working with palettes to make actual things and I didn't, I always and made the, and yeah, I, I, I would mostly teach them how to paint, but the, I always made the guys do the drilling. I have a beautiful painting for one of your people. It's very random. It's beautiful yeah. colors. I, I love it. I know exactly who did it. Yeah. Love it. And, and uh, the person that did that painting that she's talking about, that person finds it difficult to communicate at all. But the paintings that she does are really pretty. I loved it. And um, they're just, it's just random colors. Mm -hmm. It's not. Oh, yeah. It's yeah. totally. Because she doesn't understand about it. But it's any beautiful. I, I love it. I absolutely love it. Hey, Eve, will you do me a favor? Will you hand me that little blue case right there? This one? Yeah. Thank you. I'm going to put this I on. Had a... another, I had another student that would want to do certain things but she needed to be helped to do it and um, and she was she liked this picture that uh, George O'Keefe did love and um, so I said well you know it, it was an ocean scene and so it's just flat things like that and it had a sun on it but so all I did was mask most of the canvas and she worked on one part and mask another part of the canvas and she worked on that part so that she couldn't paint over what, what she, she had already what done. she had already done and um, she can't stay in the lines at all this person and the um, the finished product the hardest thing to mask was the the, the, the sun but <laughs> the finished product project I was like I like that better than Georgia O'Keeffe's. <laughs> and yeah. I mean, the colors were close, but not same. And but what was really cool is she does she glops on the paint, so it's not smooth, and so it had this beautiful texture. Mm -hmm. And so the ocean part looked like texture, like an ocean. And it was it was really really nice. And um, I really miss. I don't miss the yeah. company I work for, but I miss the people that I worked with. Yeah. yeah. I wanted. I used to work in a special needs classroom uh, for a long time, and I always wanted to. We never had time, I guess. I always wanted to do that sort of where you, um, you let them paint, and then they put down tape, and you let them paint again, and then you put down tape, and you know you just keep doing that, and then take all the tape off, and it's a layered. I've seen that. Um, it would mm -hmm. be like a layered thing, and. It looks so beautiful. Mm -hmm. I'm going to put this on a stitch holder, and I'm going to see if this thing is finally long enough. And then I can do the <laughs> sleeves. And then you could it's probably not, but... More into finish. Or I can at least see how far, how far yeah. I am. Oh, no. There's a bunch of scissors right no, there. No, I took it out right here. I, I, thought this, I thought my scissors were still in there. I was like... Could you have how it. many pairs of scissors? In your you have a scissor addiction, friend. <laughs> I do. I have a pair of scissors in every. But that's smart because in every project. Yeah. Because it, well, it's not if I if I had like a craft room where I had one place to sit, or if I had like a stitching spot and I had one place to sit, and I had all my stuff set out, you know, that would be fine. I I only only would only need one or two pairs of scissors. Yeah. But as it is. A, I can't do that because of my cats, and B, I can't do that because I don't, I, you know, I... I finally, because, okay, so this, have full disclosure, really this room bed. that we're in is my daughter's room. So, over New Year's, uh, I, I was deathly sick while well, I was a little bit better, and I was so sad, and I was like, you know what, because we used to have a... Her bed's right there, and her closet's right there. And over here in this corner where my box is now, we used to have a, um, treadmill. a treadmill. Yeah. And we had talked way before Christmas, we had talked briefly about switching, because this used to be in my bedroom. And in my bedroom, I had to keep it closed all the time. So this table folds down inside, and then these doors roll like almost like a like a scroll they roll up and it just becomes a giant cabinet and so I had to keep it closed all the time 
in uh, in my bedroom because of our cats and because of space and everything else. So I would take it, I would open it up and, and work on stuff, but I could never leave it. And so uh, I had thought about moving it in here and moving the treadmill out, but, but they built our treadmill in here and it's huge and heavy. And this is huge and heavy. And so we're like, well, it's on, it's on wheels at least. So we thought about it, thought about it, and I was like, I don't know, I don't know. But then over New Year's, I don't know, I guess depression and illness and crazy head, I was like, let's do it. <laughs> so we took the top off the treadmill, turned it on its side, and wiggled it out of this room. I don't even know how we did it. Because right outside this door is, is a hallway. The hallway. You're and in there's, the hallway. Yeah, and there's it's, just like the width of the hallway, the and you had to turn. But we got it out. And we put it in the dining room. <laughs> and then, um, but my husband thought it was a genius because I figured out how to take the, the top, the arms off, you know, the big top part of it off. And then, um, and then we, this thing we built in my bedroom. And the problem is, oh, you can't see it on the, I can tilt the camera for a second. Oh. Careful, don't, don't spill your drink. Don't spill your drink. Oh, I'll spill my drink. Famous last words. Yeah, right there. That crown, it has a light in it, and it sits over the top of the whole thing when it's closed up. It's really up. good to do cross-stitch here. Yeah, the light is, the light is really nice. So, um, sorry to the jiggling of the camera. So, that crown, though, is too big to fit through the door. So I had to take the crown off, and then we opened it up like this, and well, I had to take everything out, if you can imagine. All the boxes, all the books, all the little jars, everything. I took, because they're all in trays, which is really nice. Except for like this section over here is loose. That's, that's the Naomi fleece that I, that I keep talking about. That's 14 four ounce bumps of fleece. That, it's the whole fleece of one sheep named Naomi. Anyway, I take everything out. And my bed was piled high with all of our, with all the boxes and junk. And um, so then it was empty and we snaked it like, like a little caterpillar out of the bedroom. <laughs> and so my husband and my son and I, uh, like a little train, went through the house and then we brought it in here. But the way, the orientation of how we took it out and how we brought it in, it was backwards in here and then there's a piece of uh, because we have carpet and the whole things on wheels um, it came in this huge crate um, about the width of let's see Eve point like about the width of, of where Eve and Beth are sitting huge crate and a lot of people from, um, who have this thing had got taken that lid and used it as a flooring so that's what we did we put uh, I got laminate strips and I put flooring on it and then we use it under the box so we had to bring that in here and position it and put it on and make sure it was right no it's not right take it off move the flooring put it back so we did that and then put the crown back on but it's been so nice because um like when my daughter was here I just closed it up and it was not in the way but when she's not here she's back at school now I can just leave it open and all I have to do is Make close sure the, the close the door. Close the, the door, and, and the cats, cats can't. Get. The wool hunter, Hobbs, the wool hunter, mm -hmm. cannot get to. It's so funny. He doesn't care about acrylic yarn, <laughs> but he <laughs> loves wool, anything wool, and he'll go and he goes trying to bite it. Like stop. He sticks his head. He knows that all these bags, all my project bags, have wool, so he'll put his head in there. <laughs> One time he stole a skein of yarn right out from between my feet, and I didn't even notice it. <laughs> and and he took it. One time I left a, a just-spun skein of yarn. My husband sent me a picture. He goes, what is this? And I looked at it because it was just this big, brown, tangled mess. And I'm like, oh, my gosh. <laughs> That's the yarn I just spun. I had left it stuck stupidly on my desk in the living room before I had you know this was before I moved in so before I had space to put things and he had found it and dragged it through the house it was in a it was in a, a skein twist 
and he, it was, I still haven't totally untangled it, <laughs> but I was like, he's lucky that I didn't really like that. It was like my first try at a chain plying, and, and it, it didn't go very well, and I was like, I don't really like this yarn. I don't know what I'm going to do with it. It's going to be a cat toy. <laughs> and it turned out it was a cat toy. And right next to it was a very precious skein that I had done that I loved, and he did not take that one, thank goodness. But I was like, oh my gosh. But that's how he is. He'll oh, hunt. So she was getting a, a new spinning wheel. Yeah. So I ordered for, a spinning wheel. For her sister-in-law's birthday, she bought a spinning wheel for herself. <laughs> <laughs> I bought it long before her birthday. <laughs> what am I doing? Oh my gosh, I'm going to make a mess. Celebrating yourself. No, 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 no. But I, 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 um, I ordered... Uh, so my mom used to talk about... Because... She yeah. couldn't get, you know, when, it, it, for us three older kids especially. Um, well, who was it very... that said that? Was it Tim? Yeah, I think One so. of us said, yeah. on yeah. someone aren't else's birthday, aren't me? you going to celebrate me? So then she would <laughs> give everybody a little... She, so, so she would give, like, whoever's birthday it was, she would get the main present, but then the other two would get some kind three? of little trinket. The other well, three? Well, the other... I think oh, she it was started only with, two before yeah, me. She started with us because... We all, all we all were so close brats. together. Spoiled Our ages were so close together, you know. No, but I did not order it because it was Rachel's birthday. I ordered it long before. <laughs> and it was supposed to come last Wednesday at first. And then it said it was coming Friday, which coincidentally was Rachel's birthday. She knows. <laughs> and, um, and so uh, it's a bigger version of my spinning wheel. Um, it has more speeds and a bigger bobbin and, um, uh, it's called the King Bee. It's by Spinolution, which is the, I love that company and I love their products. I will show you my spinning wheel in a moment since it's right there. My little bitty polywog named Kermit, uh, who has served me well and will continue to serve me. I'm not going to get rid of it. Um, I, that way I can have actually multiple projects going and I can take, cause that, Spinning wheel is only four ounce bobbins, so it can fit one. I showed it to you. The bobbin was full. That's four ounces of wool, and the new, the one I'm getting has an has eight ounce bobbins. So I can actually take uh, two of those and make one long, uh, one large skein of wool. Or I just it, it it's it'll be a lot more versatile. And uh, that one is the the polywog that I own now is better for travel, although. This king bee will fold down into the size of a, like a small, like the kind of suitcase you can check in a, in a, in an airplane. It folds into a box and you can put it on a, in a hard shell suitcase. I'm so excited. Anyway, um, because one of these days I'm going to a sheep and wool festival. I don't care what you say. <laughs> I was going to go this summer, this past summer of 2020, mm -hmm. um, because when my mother-in-law passed away in February... We went to Baltimore for her funeral, and uh, friends of my husband's family were there at the um, at the house, and we were talking about we were talking about knitting and stuff like that, and and they're like, oh, you need to come back, and I can't remember now what town, some town near there, near Baltimore, uh, has a sheep and wool festival every every summer, like in June, and I was like, I'm there, I will be there, and I was gonna just just go and. And then COVID and the world happened. Blew up. The world blew up, and yeah. one of these days I'm going to go. You know, I was thinking the other day, I mean, we're all upset about, you know, the pandemic and all that, and isn't it hard on us, you know? And, yes, many people have been, uh, got sick, like my mom, and passed away. Many people. And let me tell you, it's an illness you do not want to have because it really hits hard. Um, and strange things happen to your brain. Anyway, um, but my mom has clear memories of of uh, polio and how awful that was and how frightening that was. Mm -hmm. And and um, I had a, a teacher in junior high that had 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 polio as a child. And he also talked uh, uh, about it. And, you know, we forget that 
we're lucky that people aren't being put in iron lungs. Mm -hmm. You know, we're lucky that, that uh, so many things like them sending mom home, letting mom come home, mm -hmm. you know, and... Um, well, like, I think the, the equivalent of the iron lung, though, is like people the ventilator. on vent respirators. Yes, yeah. I know, I know. But, but they, uh, the problem with, with those iron lungs is only their head stuck out. Yeah. And, and once you're around, you couldn't get off. Mm -mm. But um, I like what you said uh, the other day. You were like, you know, because of the pandemic, you were able to be home with mom uh -huh. the whole for a whole year. This whole year, I've, and so we we and and uh, and me too. You know, we've been able to enjoy our parents. So even though it's very sad and awful and horrible that we lost her, we also were able to spend tons of time with her uh, mm -hmm. because we were all home <laughs> and we're all, you know, we couldn't do much and, and, uh, and so it, it was, it was a good year in many, many ways. Um, yeah, you know, uh, I have to remember to not be angry about the days I'm not, I, I, I'm not going to get and be grateful for the days I had. You know, um, our last uh, thing that we did was went out to buy a Christmas tree. Yeah. And my mom enjoyed that outing so much. And it was a good day. And and I just, I have to remember that not everything in 2020 was horrible. Many mm -hmm. things were horrible. Yeah. <laughs> but, but um, you know staying home and 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 uh making it where people could still find an income you know through unemployment or whatever other things were running right then um you know i was just privileged to be able to stay home with my mom and dad and not have to worry about that Yeah. But anyway, mm -hmm. my spinning wheel is supposed to be here tomorrow. Oh yeah, so it was supposed to come Friday, and it said it, it was. That's okay. It said it was in. It's still in Washington on Friday, and my husband's like, "It's not coming today." I'm like, "But it says." And he's like, "It's not coming today." And then late Friday night, I got a a, a message that it was in California. And then early Saturday, early, or super late in the evening, it said, or no, 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 early this Today's morning. Saturday, yeah. Today's Saturday. Uh, early in the morning, it said that it was, it was delayed. delayed because of weather in California. I'm like, what weather in California? I know all you Californians going to mad at me. There's weather there, I, I believe. I know. <laughs> but it but, never rains in Southern California. <laughs> well, it wasn't Southern California, I don't think. It's probably Northern. It probably did have snow. I don't know. But I was so upset. So it didn't come Saturday. All day today, and then I got messaged, and it, but it didn't even tell me when it was going to come. It's like sorry weather, and then finally, uh, about I don't know, midday, it said it was coming tomorrow. Finally, so Sunday, thirty first, supposed to be here, and I'll be very excited. So my son is twenty two, and her son is twenty three, and my son made a reference in front of two young people. Uh, to a woman that uh, walked by about her clothing. When she was out of earshot, and he wasn't trying to be mad and um, mm -hmm. ugly, you know, but he said, he said, she looks like the Hamburglar. <laughs> and those young people went, who? <laughs> and he's like, I had a punch in your mouth. <laughs> yeah, you don't know who the Hamburglar is? <laughs> and then a short time later, um, he said, roads? Oh, because somebody had done a really bad curb check. <laughs> he works at a bar. Anyway, uh, somebody had done a really bad <laughs> curb check, and, and he said, roads? We don't need no stinking roads. Where we're going, we don't need roads. Yeah, yeah something like that. And Turn back to the future. Yeah, and, and those young people went, who? Huh? What's Uneducated, wrong? no movies. No good movie knowledge. Cultural frame of reference. 
I'm pretending this sweater is long enough just so I can kind of take a break from it now. <laughs> so I put it on I put it on a stitch holder. We'll see. We'll have him try it on. It's probably not long enough. But it'll give me an idea how much more I so have to do. So I'm curious to know how many of you guys know who, who the Hamburglar is. I'm not saying. <laughs> <laughs> but if you know who the Hamburglar is, put it in the comments below. <laughs> so, you know, I, when, I, when I worked at Family Life, uh, I was uh, talking with a, a, a co-worker, a friend of mine, and and I said something about I was I was talking about the movie Tootsie, I love which that movie. came out I know it came out um, when I was in graduate school because Greg and I went to see it. He was just he was out of he had finished graduate school uh, the previous that year I guess, and I was I had one more year, and um, so we went to see it that Christmas. And um, so anyway, I was saying something about, about Tootsie, and I and I paused in the middle. I said, "Oh, you probably were, you know, were or were, you know, very young or you know whatever." And he's like, "What year did it come out?" And so I said, "What year?" And he said, "I wasn't even born yet." And I was like, "Oh my <laughs> God!" <laughs> no, it's awful. It's terrible. It's awful to think, you. Know, yeah. Well, you know, it's always shocking to when be you reminded realize. how old you were. <laughs> <laughs> my son goes. I just realized that I'm much older than the kids <laughs> in high school. Yep. <laughs> yeah. Uh, you know, it's 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 cultural references like that. I was that watching. Really tell it. As a, uh, well, a it goes to show you how you know the my year because I I just now was you know watching Netflix. It's just uh, I just got a Roku television. <laughs> and you know just trying to learn how to use it <laughs> yeah and um and uh so anyway so uh one of the shows i was i was binge watching was stranger things and it's you know it takes place in the 80s and so all this it's got this great 80s movie uh i mean 80s soundtrack, soundtrack yeah and um but, you know, they have things like rotary telephones and VCRs and things like that. And I'm like, oh, my God, my childhood. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Well, you know, it was funny because one of the things my husband was doing today, um, after my mom passed away, I told him, I said, I want to watch our our movies that we have, that we have on that VHSC, you know, the little VHS. I said, I wanted to watch them because I want to see her on those videos because, you know, I don't know, we haven't taken videos in years. And you have all yours on CD or DVD. And so I, I told him I'm going to do that. So he looked up for a company and he found a, a one he thinks is good. And he took them all out tonight. And uh, he was, you know, going through and putting stickers on them and, and uh, making sure, you know. And he took out our old camcorder <laughs> and got it to charge up. And we didn't want to play them in there because, you know, you can watch the little viewfinder. We didn't want to play them too much because we were worried that you know it might eat it or whatever because it's so old. But we but there was a couple that weren't labeled, so he was he was um, looking at them, and the sound of it, you know, the sound of it opening and closing and the and the tape you know rolling yeah. out or whatever. He's like, oh my gosh, the sound of my childhood. <laughs> yeah, because you know that's the sound yeah. of the of the you know those you know because what Eli was born in ninety seven and Hannah in 2001 and so yeah and i i don't think that's that far away but they're already <laughs> hannah's almost 20. i yeah. let her borrow uh, crazy two of my dvds to watch of her kids because yeah. i used to take pictures all the time from the time i was real young i took uh, i love taking pictures and what's really sad is in this last year i've been with my mom and dad yeah. Take pictures of my dog, but not my mom. <laughs> yeah, I know. know. You know, and, and that's one thing I, I found that um, I the pictures I have on my phone were because Hannah, my because my daughter was in Boston. And so I was like, hey, I'm going to take a picture of Grandma and Grandpa, you know, for her. So those are the pictures I have. But there's times when, like, there I was taking pictures or, or something of, I don't know, some holiday that I had on my phone 
And I knew from the memory of that event that like, I'm taking a picture of my kids being goofy or whatever. And my mom is right here and I didn't take any pictures, you know, and I just, oh, I feel so awful about it. Mm -hmm. Oh, but here I have my spinning wheel. Oh, I take the cover off, the cat cover. <laughs> I'll lift it up because it's too little to be in the camera. So I'm thinking that when Mr. As I call my new spinning wheel, because it is a king bee, it will be Barry B. Benson. <laughs> so when I get Barry B. Benson, I'm actually thinking about starting my own channel. Um, of not just spinning, but of, of just all the nonsense I do every day. Here's my wheel. Um, it's got it's got a lazy cake on top where the the extra bobbins sit. This is the flyer. If you go look back a couple videos, you can see me using it. And then here's the wheel and the little tiny foot pedals that just really take your toes. It's really, the way it's made, this company is very uh, innovative, uh, very different and modern from most spinning wheels you'll see out there. And I just love it. And the other one I'm gonna get is big. It's big and tall. This one's very short and uh, I even have the, they make a riser to pick up the flyer head so it's a little bit taller. Uh, I don't know why they made it so little because you almost can't find a chair to sit in it where the, the fiber is straight from your hand uh, to the wheel. But, but um, anyway, so that's my baby. I call him Kermit B. Frog. <laughs> Because he's a polywog. I didn't name my sewing machine. <laughs> I don't. I have three, and none of them have names. Three? No, I have four. I have two. I have. I have that Juki behind me. I have a little brother. I have, you have an fop. old fop that you gave me when I got married. Yeah. How many years ago? Ninety-two. And then <laughs> um, my my kids bought me a a serger. So, my fop is older than your fop, and it it still works. Yeah. yeah, yeah, it's great. Yeah, it's just, it needs to be serviced, I think. And um, I really like, I really like the way the fop is. I have a brother that I'm sewing on right now. Um, Did you buy a brother? Mm hmm I thought you bought a different brand. I was looking at a, a whole bunch of different brands, but I bought a brother. Okay. I don't have I like a machine. <laughs> yeah, we know, because you keep making everybody else sew your stuff. <laughs> So, if you will, why shouldn't she have you do it? <laughs> really? No, you. You're the one who does all her sewing for her. Yeah, sure. A lot of it, yeah. <laughs> but, um, but, you know, what's really cool is that I hadn't sewn since Robert was younger. And I'm just, I just love sewing. Mm -hmm. And, and and I'd forgotten how it is to sew because you want to, not because you need to, because yeah, you you like for you making a dress for Hannah. <laughs> yeah, no, I, I love that. I it was always my idea, but um, no, I love sewing. I haven't done it enough lately. I I I, I like sort of move around my obsessions for a while. Right yes, now. I'm, I'm waiting for my quilt. Stuff. I know. I know. It's right. It's right there behind you. <laughs> it's in a box behind you. <laughs> but um. But yeah, no, I, I'm thinking of starting my own channel. Uh, so if I do, you'll find it in our description box. We put a link tree and um, you'll see link tree three sisters creative on there. And that if you just click that, it takes you to all of our um, things. It takes you it to. Clickable? Yeah. Yes. I made it clickable. Oh, I edited I, it. I, I, I yeah. didn't realize what had happened. Yeah, I edited it. Anyway, um, I just hadn't copied the URL. Right. Anyway, it is clickable. On our last video will be clickable on this one you click that and it will give you a link to our Etsy shop it'll give you a link um, to um, uh, to to this YouTube channel and it'll also give you links to each of their YouTube channels and eventually to our website and then if I add a channel I'll put it in there so um, so keep an eye on our link tree and and it'll, that's where you can find all our stuff and I would subscribe to you you would yeah. Well, that's good. Would yeah, you actually watch them? Yeah. Oh, okay, because I subscribe to both of you. I don't always watch them. I try to. <laughs> I 
try to, but I, I'm sort of hooked on Little House on the Prairie right now. <laughs> Don't make fun. I'm watching Little House on the Prairie from the beginning to the end. It makes me, it makes you remember my mom, so it's nostalgic. <laughs> but anyway, I think we better close. We're, we've, we're, we've been jabbering for a long time. So yes, we better yeah. close because I made another mistake, and you're going to see me having a tantrum. We want to shut this down before she starts cussing. So. <laughs> anyway, thank you for wait, joining wait, us. Wait, 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 what? Wait, I'm almost finished with this section. I have one stitch. Okay. One stitch. Okay. Oh, you know what? While you're stitching your one stitch, I forgot. I'm going to show you my new project because I had to start something, even though it's finished in February. <laughs> this is just ten rows of a um, so. I don't think I showed them. You know that the mm. I made some some fingerless mitts for my for Rachel, my sister in law, uh, for Christmas. They have an owl. She loves owls. I told you. We've told you that. And uh, they have two little owls in cable made out of cables. It's really cool. Anyway, so for her birthday, I took her yarn shopping so I could make her the cow a cowl, an owl cowl. cowl. It'll actually go this way around. But anyway. So this is 10 rows of the beautiful purple that she, you can see the cable starting right there. The beautiful purple that she chose. It's really nice. It's uh, dyed here uh, by uh, Dylicious Yarns at, uh, you can get it at Tempe Yarn and Fiber in Tempe. And it uh, hand dyed by the owner. Um, so it's beautiful. And then she fell in love. Here, hand me that round. That this is concentric on it. She fell in love with a shawl at the store that was a model of this yarn. And she's like, will you sell it to me? And they said, no. And so she kept going back and looking at it. And she loved it so much. And I said, I'll make you that if you buy the yarn. So she did. And look at this. It's 100% baby alpaca. It's gorgeous. It's and really the pattern. Soft. Yeah, it's super soft. And the pattern goes, uh, it's like a. A triangle at corner to corner and um, it's concentric yarn it's really beautiful and it's neat because it's it's a it's a worsted weight yarn but it's made out of like loose plies like this and I guess they said that as they change color they'll change one thread and then they'll change two threads and then three threads and then four threads so that's how they do the gradient on it because um, here's the other end in the light purple so this will be another fun cast on to do when I get bored of my finish it. <laughs> okay, so I finished the middle section of the owl, his tummy. And that little gap right under the needle minder is mm -hmm. where his yeah, is his, the, beak, will where be. his beak goes. Cute. There's, yeah, there's the picture. How come he has an eye on his belly? I'm gonna I'll never be able to not see the <laughs> eye. The letter I. But so yeah, I finished his tummy. Yeah. He looks so angry. Why is he so mad? <laughs> All right. So I, now I didn't have to fill oh. head and body. And Look how neat her back is. The back is so neat. Don't Very look, good. Don't look at the back of mine. Okay, I won't. All right, well, thank you for joining us. Yes. And we'll see you next time. Bye. Bye.